In this video, I will talk about 5 ways to shoot yourself using the main camera so you can maximize the quality of your videos. You will learn about accessories, applications and programs what will not only simplify the shooting process but also make your videos look more professional. Hi everyone, Alex Jasny is with you. So, why should you even bother shooting the, the main camera? If you are recording a talking head videos, footage captured on the selfie camera will be much worse in quality compared to the main camera. The main camera has much better detail, color accuracy, a larger sensor and superior optics, which all provides a more pleasing and high quality image. But how can we shoot the, the main camera, which is on the back of the phone, when you can't see what's happening on the screen since it's facing away from you? To solve this problem, we can use several different methods, which we will discuss in this video. And at the end I will give you a couple of useful tips, what will further enhance your content. So watch the video to the end to not miss out on this helpful information. Right now hit the like button on this video and let's get started. We will start simple. The first method is to shoot yourself without any extra equipment. Set the camera on a tripod and aim it where you will be sitting. Place a chair in front of the camera and use it to roughly gauge where you will be in the frame. Use the grid feature to understand where the center of the frame is. Then hit the record button, sit down and record a short test video for a few seconds. Afterward review the footage and check the framing, angle, lighting and other parameters. If everything looks good, start the main recording. If not, make the necessary adjustments and record another test until you get the desired result. The next method is using a special selfie mirror. This mirror attaches to your phone mount and through its reflection you can monitor your framing, battery level, storage capacity and other settings. This accessory is lightweight and compact, doesn't take up much space and can be used at home on a tripod and outdoors for vlogging. Plus, for ladies it can serve as a way to touch up their appearance before filming. A small hack. When using this mirror, instead of searching for the record button on the screen, just press any volume button on the phone to start recording, you can stop it the same way. This mirror also works with camera that don't have a flip-out screen like some Sony 6000 series models. It can turn them into a proper vlogging camera for filming yourself. This accessory might even breathe new life into your mirrorless camera that's been gathering dust on a shelf. There are several types of such mirror available, I will include links in the description. Just one thing I don't recommend is using those small round mirror that stick to the phone. They are too small and you won't see much in them, making it a waste of money. The next method is screen mirroring your smartphone to a computer. Let's start with connecting an Android phone to Windows. Both your phone and computer need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Download the AirDroid Cast app on your phone and open it. Then activate the QR code scanning feature and go to this website on your computer browser. The link will be in the description along with the application. Use AirDroid Cast app to scan the QR code from the site and press start. Minimize the app, open your phone's camera and switch to video mode. Mount the phone vertically or horizontally on a tripod and to start and stop recording simply press any volume button on your phone. The next method is to mirror an iPhone screen to a Windows computer. Download and open the Mirror 2 program on your computer. Choose iOS and you will see two connection options via Wi-Fi and USB. With USB connection there is one downside. The image doesn't rotate horizontally, so if you plan to shoot in landscape mode, this option won't work for you. Instead, I will show you how to connect via Wi-Fi as it allows for horizontal image rotation. So on your phone enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, making sure both your phone and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Then tap screen mirroring and select mirror 2. You will see that the program on the computer starts mirroring your phone's screen. 
If you want, you can purchase an additional feature to control your phone from the computer with the mouse, which is very useful for full control over all camera settings. This feature is unique to this program. In other cases, you will always have to manually adjust the settings directly on your phone, which isn't very convenient. Then launch the camera app and mount your phone on a tripod. If you rotate the phone horizontally, the program on the computer will rotate the display as well. You can also maximize the image to full screen, which makes it easier to see and you can be further away from the computer and phone during filming. And the final option is a special mirror. This screen connects to your phone wirelessly via Wi-Fi, allowing you to be at a distance and still see what's being recorded. The device has its own battery, several brightness levels and simple controls. Besides recording video, it can also be used for live streaming, video calls through various messengers, Zoom, Skype and other applications. Check out the full review if you are interested in this device, where I talk in detail about its pros and cons. And here are a few useful tips to improve your video quality even further. The first tip about using cinematic mode. The most important thing is not to overdo the blur effect. By default the aperture is set to around f2.8, but it's better to adjust it to somewhere between f6 and f10. This will add a slight background blur that looks more natural than the overly artificial blur at f2. And combined with the natural optical blur already present in the main camera, you will get a softer, more pleasant image. The second tip is about adjusting the exposure. I usually set it to minus 3 or minus 7. In my opinion, this setting gives the image a more cinematic look as brightness is film is often slightly muted. These are my useful tips, friends. I recommend checking out a few more videos that will help you improve your content. Links will be right here on the screen. Dare and create and see you.